Hi, hi everyone. We are back. We are back. All right. Today we're talking about something very interesting. We talked about a very interesting topic. We're talking about the kitchen still. We talked about stuff you're gonna find in the kitchen. We're talking about the food in the kitchen. All right. But we're not gonna talk about a lot of food today. We're gonna talk about spices. All right. We are talking about spices today. All right. What are we talking about today? spices all right we're talking about spices all right you're talking about spice spices let's put plural right okay spices all right what is a spice a spice is what you put on your food to make it taste nice all right there's food you know the food um that you put here at home they dish up they put rice they put chicken we call that food, all right? You eat your food. If your food doesn't have spices, it doesn't taste good. You don't want to finish up your food because there are no spices or there are nothing that is, that is nice that makes you want to finish up your food. So today we are talking about these spices, all right? I've got a few spices here. You see this one, look at it closely. Can you see this spice? All right. We call these peppers. All right. It has green. It has a, a black pepper, and it has, I think, fennel. All right. But normally we call it black pepper or and white pepper. Those are the seeds. So what you do with these ones is you cook your food and then you grind them. So that's why they have something like this. You grind, you grind them. All right. You grind them. What kind of food you would add this? Who knows what kind of food you would add your this, this kind of spicy in? All right. This spice, you would like to add it when you are frying an egg, when you are cooking light food, all right? Not really heavy food. When you have heavy food, you would rather take a black pepper that is already grinded, that's already crushed. So this one, it's called black pepper it has white pepper actually this one so let's call it um black pepper and white pepper right black pepper and white pepper black pepper black pepper and white pepper so it's black and white pepper right black and white pepper all right where do you put this you put it on an egg or on your spice food on your fast food all right these ones you normally you could put it anywhere remember spices are for you to put wherever you want to put them but normally you would like to put uh, black and white pepper on the egg all right when you crack an egg and you you make an egg you would like to put this one all right what's the name of this spice what is the name of this spice it's black and white pepper. Remember that because I'm going to come back and ask you. So you have to remember. All right. Remember, this is black and white pepper. All right. Black and white pepper. Okay. And then there is this one. If you look at it closely, it has this picture. This is chilies or it's paprika chilies. So they call it paprika. It comes from India, all right? This one is paprika, okay, paprika. But it's also just another chilies. Remember, chilies has many spices, chili, I mean, different uh, kinds of chilies. You have paprika, you have peri-peri, you've got paprika, peri-peri, uh, cayenne pepper, all of those, we call them chilies. I bet we call them chilies, jalapeno or jalapeno, as they say it. We all call them chilies. But today, I've decided to choose paprika. Paprika, yeah. It's a chili uh, uh, pepper. It's very hot. Okay. And then there is also this one. Okay, this one. Oh, by the way, paprika, you also put them on the stew. Normally, you would want to put these on a curry, on a chicken curry, on a lamb curry. You put this. If you're cooking your chicken curry, you put paprika, okay? It makes food taste really, really good. 
So if your food at home is not tasting nice, you ask mama, mama, please buy paprika. Okay, mama, please buy paprika. Paprika. Okay, it has an Indian name. It's not English, it's Indian. So it comes from an, a, a, an, an Indian uh, name. But in English, we also use it. We say this is paprika. Okay. All right. And then the next one is basil. This is definitely English, right? Basil. Basil. Very good. It's basil. All right. So basil, just like paprika, they would go together because you would like to put basil on a stew, all right? If you are making a chicken stew, you're making a beef stew, you would also like to put this one that is called basil, all right? Basil. A lot of people like this one because it's green and it smells good. It smells good. If you smell it, open it and it smells very nice. And it makes your food smell nice. So once you've cooked and they've put basil in your food, and you're smelling, mm, it smells good. But paprika, you do not smell that. If you smell paprika, you're going to start sneezing. Going like... <laughs> it is called sneezing. So if you smell paprika, you're going to be sneezing. Don't smell paprika. But with basil, you can smell basil. You're not going to sneeze. Right? Let's move along. This one and this one, they look almost the same. They look almost the same. But this one, it's not paprika. This is cayenne pepper. All right? This is cayenne pepper. Okay. This is cayenne pepper, all right? Say cayenne, cayenne pepper. Very good. It's cayenne pepper, paprika. Cayenne pepper, paprika. They are very closely related. They are red in color. As you see them, they are both red, unlike basil, because basil is green. These ones are red in color, and they also, is they are very good with the stew. If you want to, Eat these, you want to put them in the stew, and they are hot, all right? You don't put a lot of these because they are hot. Otherwise, your food is going to be too hot, okay? And then there's this one. This one, we call it wasabi. It's a paste. It's not a spice, but I just brought it because it falls under spices. Now, this one, the only purpose of this has just one purpose, wasabi you put wasabi on sushi. Every time you eat sushi, a roll of sushi, then you want to put wasabi. You eat it with wasabi, all right? What is this? Very good, it's wasabi. What is this? Wasabi, okay? What is this? Wasabi. What color is wasabi? It's green, excellent. It's green, wasabi is green. So we've got two green ones now. We've got wasabi and we've got basil. They are both green. All right, wasabi and basil, they are green. All right, now listen up. Sometimes on your food, you don't want to put spices, but you want to put lemon. Sometimes you take a grater and you make a zest, a lemon zest, or you cut it and you juice it. You take lemon water. You juice your lemon water and you use it on your food, all right? It smells very good. Firstly, lemon smells very good, but it also can be used instead of a spice. So if you don't want to use spices, you could go for lemon and you squeeze your lemon on your food. All right. So it comes very handy like that. Okay. So I've taught you today about few spices. In fact, six of the spices, including the lemon. How many spices I taught you today? How many? Six six spices one is we started with this what is the name uh, no sorry we started with this what is the name of this spice it's black and white pepper all right it's pepper black and white pepper all right and then the second one was this one all right what is the name of this spice this is paprika all right this is paprika this is paprika what color is paprika? It is red. All right. Very good. Paprika is red. Okay. Paprika is red. And then there is this one. What is this? 
what is this this is cayenne pepper all right we said this is cayenne pepper what is the color of cayenne pepper cayenne pepper is red okay cayenne pepper is red all right and then after cayenne pepper we said there is this one what is the name of this spice what is the name of this spice the name of this spice is this is basil all right this is basil what color is basil all right yes basil is green all right every time you see basil you see that basil is green so there is paprika which is red in color and then there is basil which is green okay there is basil that's green okay and then the next one we said there is this one what do we call this spice this is wasabi all right this is wasabi and we said wasabi you only need this spice when you are making sushi all right you only need this spice when you are making sushi this is wasabi you only need wasabi when you are making sushi all right what color is wasabi excellent wasabi is green all right wasabi is green in color which other spice is green like wasabi here? Which one is green like wasabi? Very good. It's basil, which is this one. So basil and wasabi, they are green, but they are serving different purposes. So wasabi is for sushi. Basil is for the stew. All right. You cook your chicken stew and you want to add basil. All right. You want to add basil. All right. And then there is this one. This is not a spice, but we normally use it also as a spice it's the only fruit we can use as a spice and what's the name of this the fruit it's a lemon all right it's lemon 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 excellent lemon you can use lemon as you squeeze your lemon into your salad sometimes all right you squeeze your lemon into your salad or you have your lemon zest and you use that you have a grater and you grate it and you use what you have to use it as a spice in your stew or whatever that you are cooking all right this is lemon what is this this is lemon all right what is this this is lemon excellent excellent lemon so we've got these spices and they are for a different purposes they are for a different purposes let's see if we remember the colors what color is your wasabi it's green excellent excellent your wasabi is green wasabi is green what color is your black and white pepper well it's black and white as it says it's pepper all right it's black and white what color is your paprika paprika is red okay what color is your cayenne pepper? Cayenne pepper is also red. Okay, cayenne pepper is red. What color is your basil? Basil is green, all right. Green, basil is green. What color is lemon or lime? Sometimes this is not lemon, this is lime, but they fall under one family. So for argument's sake, let's say this is lemon. Right, lemon. What color is lemon? Sometimes, if they tell you this is not lemon, it's lime. Just know it's pretty much the same thing. This is lime or lemon. What color is this one? Is still green, but it can turn to yellow. All right, it can turn and be yellow. Lemon. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see who can say them properly. Cayenne pepper, sorry, paprika, paprika paprika cayenne pepper cayenne pepper cayenne pepper black and white pepper black and white pepper wasabi 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 basil 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 
lemon lemon very good okay one more time one more time let's see if we are getting this what is this three two one excellent wasabi wow this is excellent this is wasabi wasabi all right what do we use wasabi for we use it for sushi all right we use it for sushi wasabi we use wasabi for sushi okay and then we've got this one what is this this is basil what do we use basil for just a normal stew all right um a lot of people also they're not only using basil for stew but they're using it for potato salad so you so what they do is they take the potato and they boil it and then they mash it they make a, a potato mash and then they add basil it adds a very nice texture and it looks very nice and it smells very good it takes out the smell of a potato so this is basil right basil is for the stew and for the potato salad also what is this excellent it's basil what is this basil all right and we've got this one cayenne pepper cayenne pepper cayenne pepper all right and after cayenne pepper we've got your paprika paprika excellent we've got paprika all right paprika and after paprika we've got this one which we said we're going to use it as a uh, we're going to group it with the spices but it's typically not a spice but we group it with the spices we have this and we say this is a lemon lemon excellent lemon and then we've got the last one again which is black and white pepper black and white pepper all right all right excellent so those are the spices if you are shopping with your mom now you know when you guys are shopping what you want you're going to need in the house if your mom says my son or my girl i am making potato salad all right what can i buy with potato salad you say mommy mama Teacher school said potato salad, you need basil. It goes well with potato salad, okay? And you you find basil. And then the mother, your mother is gonna ask you, what color is basil? Oh, mama, basil is green, basil is green. Oh, all right. Then you go and you find basil, which is green. And you add it on a potato salad. You sprinkle it on a potato salad. And then the potato salad smells good it smells good very good smell mm, it smells good all right or you want you make a green salad and you like mama and then they don't have uh, a sauce for the salad you say teacher school said we can use lemon for the green salad or greek salad and then you add lemon you squeeze lemon water you squeeze it you squeeze lemon water on a green salad you squeeze it or you take the grater, you grate it, it gives you the zest. We call it lemon zest, all right? Lemon. When you are at home, they ordered sushi and there is no green thing. You're saying, wasabi, I need wasabi. Mama, we forgot wasabi because sushi goes with wasabi. Every time you eat sushi, you want to eat wasabi, but it's hot. Be very careful, be careful, this is hot wasabi is very hot all right sushi goes with wasabi okay and then there's this one which is called cayenne pepper mama cayenne pepper we need cayenne pepper for the stew if they're cooking a stew and there is no cayenne pepper you say let's have cayenne pepper a little bit of cayenne pepper all right or let's have paprika and mama says what is paprika you're saying paprika is a spice and paprika is hot all right and then they're saying what color is paprika paprika is red okay red paprika red okay you put it in a stew or they are making an egg in the morning egg all right they're cracking an egg and you're saying 
Where is black and white uh, pepper? Black and white pepper. I need to put on an egg. And then you have your egg and you put your black and white pepper. All right. So those are your spices. Those are the spices that you needed to learn about today. Okay. Thank you very much for listening.